folds of dura mater at some places meningeal layer is folded on itself to form dural folds dura mater has two layers outer endosteal layer inner meningeal layer inner meningeal layer is folded on itself at some places to form dural folds dural folds divides the cranial cavity into compartments folds of dura mater fox cerebri tentorium cerebelli fox cerebelli diaphragma cellae fox cerebri it is large sickle shaped fold of dura mater it separates two cerebral hemispheres it occupies median longitudinal fissure between two cerebral hemispheres its anterior end is narrow its posterior end is broad its upper margin encloses superior sagittal sinus its lower margin encloses inferior sagittal sinus tentorium cerebelli it is ten shaped fold of dura mater it forms roof of posterior cranial fossa tentorium cerebelli separates occipital lobe from cerebellum it has inner free margin which is u shaped inner free margin encloses tentorial notch for the passage of midbrain it has outer attached margin which is convex in the posterior part of attached margin transverse sinus is present superior petrosal sinus it is present along the anterior lateral part of attached margin right sinus is present along the attachment of fox cerebelli to the tentorium cerebelli along the median plane fox cerebelli it is small sickle shaped fold of dura mater it separates two cerebellar hemispheres posterior margin of the fox cerebelli is attached to internal occipital crest occipital sinus is present along the posterior margin of the fox cerebelli anterior margin of the fox cerebelli is free the apex of fox cerebelli is usually divided into two parts fourth fold of dura mater is diaphragma cellae it is attached anteriorly to tuberculum cellae posteriorly it is attached to dorsum cellae it has central aperture for the passage of stalk of pituitary gland